Well, good morning. Good morning. We find in John a living testimony. John the Evangelist gives us a picture of John the Baptist. In this short episode of the Gospel, we see that John is the messenger sent from God. This is the purpose of his place in the Gospel of John, to be a witness, a forerunner of the true light sent from God. And this light will be enlighten everyone, everyone, not just the religious community. John the Evangelist gives us a sneak preview of what true evangelism is, to go before the people to give a testimony to the light. We may be surprised by what we find. Moreover, our stereotypes of evangelism can be changed as a result of finding that John the Baptist's witness is a living testimony. The writer of the Gospel of John identified the one who came to give the witness to God's light. His name was John. All we are told is that he is sent from God. His sole purpose in this gospel is to give a testimony of what God is doing in the midst of people. The writer makes it perfectly clear that John is not the center of his message. John is the testifier, if you will, of the light that is breaking into the realm of human affairs. He is John the Baptist. He is not John the Light. But when the religious leaders approach him, he asks them to identify himself. They want to know who he is. Perhaps they are not so sure that he isn't the light. So they ask him, who are you? Boy, that really rings out. Who are you? Now, set the record straight is something we need to re remind ourselves when giving living testimony to the light of Jesus Christ that influence our daily living. Our daily living. Too often the church and Christians may speak with the authority that belongs only to Christ. When we are confronted by those who question our motives and actions as Christians, the writer of this gospel account reminds us that we would do well to always keep the record straight about who we are. We are witnesses to something and someone who is greater than we are. The church and Christians are not the light of God, not the light of God in the dark world, but we who, but are those who give testimony to and the witness to the light. See your testimony. Your witnesses, all of us. This church is a witness to Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Our language and behavior is always to point, be a pointer to someone who is greater than we are, whereby drawing others to Christ 
and not to ourselves. This was John's own understanding to set the record straight. John, seemingly the pressure of religious community, had to respond to the question, Who are you? And he responded distinctively, I am not the Messiah. Right there, I am not the Messiah. He did make no bones about it, within the religious community, especially the church, giving the authentic response can be difficult. Weighing such issues as political correctness, social uh, politeness, can oftentimes cause us to avoid the very difficult questions. I have ran into that many times in my ministry. There are certain scriptures I noticed a lot of pastors would not even deal with. Too difficult. Might cause problems. I never had that problem. <laughs> Jesus didn't seem to mind difficult questions, so why should we? always using the economical word to convey what he wanted to say. Likewise, the followers of Jesus. We can find John's, well, his words refreshing, although risk-taking, the example that it means to give a genuine, authentic witness of our faith. Who are you is the question we need to ask in our own day and time. Joyce and I just watched a movie last night. God is not dead. If you haven't seen it, it's an older movie. Try to rent and watch it. It really asks this question, who are you? To all the people in their lives, who are you? They were confronted in different ways in their lives. Interesting movie, powerful. But a disciple of Jesus Christ should be ready and willing to give an authentic response. We shouldn't flower it up and make excuses for ourselves. When doing the Christ work in our respective communities, it's refreshing to know, to know that there are those from whom our work is catching their eyes and their ears to not be effective followers of Jesus Christ is tra you know, tragic, tragic. So where are you? Who are you? Boy, you just got to look in the mirror and ask that, huh? Who are you when it comes to Jesus Christ and bearing a witness? Wow. To help bring people to their senses and address the sin that plagued all of us. The devil's alive and well in plain sight. The message and the work of hope is to invite inquisitiveness on the part of the religious community. Who are you? What are, well, what are you doing? What makes you do what you do? Our question that 
require us to be honest, upfront to those who are curious and giving our answers without an in-your-face attitude, demonstrating resentment and, well, When we respond, how do we do it? Are we arrogant? That leaves a bad message, huh? When somebody asks you who you are about your church and you respond, you don't want to be in your face to them, attitude, or resentful. But be open, loving, and respond who you are. I am a witness and a disciple of Jesus Christ, and he loves you. Have you ever accepted him as, as your Savior, the Son of God? And we should be able, like John, to say who we are, and most important, whom we are. Whom we are. John's simple canon and honesty and forthrightness is answered the Pharisees' questions in a model we can all emulate. But simply in this model, we can emulate genuinely and authentically. I gave you a lot to think about today. Somebody came up and said who you are. What is your church about? That should bring joy that somebody is curious. And they want to see an honest, genuine, authentic answer that only can come from your heart. So we can rejoice and give thanks to the light of the world is about to dawn. That's what Advent is. The approach of our Savior's birth and his journey. The light of the world is about to be dawning. John tells us the one who breaks the heavy yoke of humanity and sets us at liberty. He's on his way. He's on his way. And we are blessed. And we are honored.